What up, guys? It's your boy, Wild Beasy Baby, here to react to the 2019 Ring of Honor, Honor United tour that took place in the United Kingdom over three days, made three stops. I'm going to kick it off with the London stop uh, this past Friday, and we seen the return to the dark side of Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal took on Mark Briscoe, and then during the match, his partner, Jonathan Gresham, came out. And we thought Jay Lethal was gonna shoo him to the back. And no, he picked up the chair and says, let me show you how it's done. And he cracked open the skull of Jay Briscoe. Yes, he did. In night two, in uh, Newport, we had Matt Taven and Joe Hendry. That was an absolutely fantastic standout match. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh yes, it was a tremendous situation. And it was Joe Hendry defeating Matt Taven and quite possibly the upset of 2019. 100% did not see that coming. Speaking of Joe Hendry, I almost forgot the night before in London, he took on Shane Taylor and unsuccessfully challenged him for the Ring of Honor television title. And man, it was hilarious seeing Shane Taylor interact with that crowd. Man, that, that was one hostile situation. I was just amazed at the hatred that, that Shane Taylor was getting from that crowd. Definitely did not see that coming whatsoever. And I'll tell you what else I did not see coming. We had on night in uh, night three in Bolton, we had Rish defeating Jeff Cobb. Definitely, definitely did not see that happening. And unfortunately, Rish is still the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. Don't necessarily have a problem with Rush, but my problem is that Jeff Cobb now has two losses on his record. Undefeated in every match he's had except for two. And both of those have been world title match situations. And uh, I gotta be honest, that, that's quite an unsettling deal for me. Considering Jeff Cobb arrived in Ring of Honor before Rush, and uh, with his background and, and everything, I just... I thought it was a blunder that Roosh retained his Ring of Honor world title. I didn't see that coming at all. Tell you what else I didn't see coming uh, on the final stop of the uh, Honor United Tour in Bolton. We thought we were going to get a um, another match with Shane Taylor just taking on one other person. And that turned into a fatal four-way with uh, Matt Taven involved, along with Mark Haskins. And then uh, one other guy was involved who's from uh, the UK. I, I can't recall his name. But I thought that was an absolutely phenomenal contest. But it was the beast, Shane Taylor. Getting that one, two, three. But what I thought was really funny was that Matt Taven tried to uh, hit on uh, Mark Haskins' wife, and I just thought that exchange was hilarious. <laughs> Definitely did not see that coming at all. I'm gonna circle back to the London date. And uh, it was Kelly Klein taking on Mandy Leon. 
And for a moment, we all thought we had a new Ring of Honor Women's Champion in Mandy Leon. But a second referee came out and reversed that decision. And mere moments later, it was the old lady of B.J. Whitmer, Kelly Klein, retaining her Ring of Honor Women's Championship. I thoroughly enjoyed this weekend of honor. It was 100% thunder. I'll tell you what else was thunder. Uh, in Newport, during the second night of the Honor United Tour, during the tag match when uh, Jay Lethal and Jonathan Gresham came out, Jay Lethal reverted back to his previous theme music, but more importantly, Jonathan Gresham came out with this sick, badass-looking octopus demon-looking mask. I hope, I hope he continues to use that in the future. Because honestly, I thought that was a nice, tremendous touch to his character. And a nice uh, enhancement, without a doubt. And then uh, yesterday, we seen, uh, no, excuse me, on uh, Saturday, um, during the broadcast, um, during one of the matches, we had Ring of Honor and uh, ring announcer Bobby Cruz join Ian Recabani on commentary. And honestly, I thought that was damn entertaining. Good stuff. Absolutely. Overall, thumbs all the way up for this tour. Thunder! Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Thunder or Blunder, and make sure you share the shit out of this and all of my content. I'm also now on TikTok at Thunder or Blunder, also on Instagram at Thunder or Blunder, and as always, you can follow me on Twitter at Wall Bucks. It was a tremendous weekend of action. Thoroughly enjoyed it. 10 out of 10. Overall, thumbs up. See you guys later.